damage to Ryan. See that there? Looks like a pretty simple project, I'll bet, to you. It is. It's kind of simple. Four pieces of aluminum angle. I just thought I'd give you a little lesson on what that took to get there. Of course, you know the bandsaw. There's the bandsaw right there. Let me show you a couple other things here that maybe you didn't know much about, being that you're a mason. Having lunch, I'm famished. Why? Because that's a lot of work. First I had to design it, then I had to get the metal. This is the base. That's the upper part there. It's going to be a, a welding cart that will hold three of my welders and my plasma cutter. So I can consolidate a little bit. It's going to have these pretty good size, sturdy, lockable um, casters. And after getting the metal, uh, taking the design, coming up with a cut list, uh, I cut the pieces and I had to um, cut half of them square at, at the end and then the other half had to be coped. The coping is uh, to make the corners fit and that's kind of tricky. Also done on a bandsaw but mostly by hand. Uh, the real hard part is getting ready to weld, um, cleaning the oxides off the, the metal, it's not, it's not that easy to do. And uh, this is the first time I've made four corners without any welding trouble. And actually all I did was tack it so far. But um, this here is toluene. Uh, it turns out toluene is the recommended solvent for cleaning aluminum prior to welding. And I only found one place in the city that sells it. It's a it's an oddball thing for uh, DIY guys. Lowe's doesn't carry it. Just like they didn't carry the welding wire that I had to buy yesterday, I had to go to Tractor Supply um, and pay double. Basically, it's double what I paid on the last one. But uh, they were the only ones that were open on the weekend and carried it. And uh, so I got my toluene. Now you can't use just anything to clean the metal. Uh, this is one of the two tools that I've been using. Um, they're stainless steel. They can't be used on anything else. No ferrous metal work. They have to be kept clean. So after I get done using them, I have to clean them. So. Uh, and it turns out, between this and this, and some real concentration, that metal does get clean enough to weld pretty clean. But getting there, you know how long I've been doing this, right? So uh, then after that, the settings. The settings have to be the right speed and the right power. The longevity allows um, an analog setting of both of those. In other words, it's not a click stop. It goes all the way from zero speed to a hundred plus speed. And the voltage goes from zero to over ten. So it's a continuous uh, setting and you need that. And this here is my preheat. I preheat it with propane. If I preheat it too hot, then the setting that I've established will be too hot and I'll have to turn it down. So I have to heat it correctly and I have to be consistent from the time I lay the, the heat machine down and am ready to actually tack 
has to be a relatively short amount of time because, as you know, aluminum has the highest heat conductance of any metal, and, uh, and if it loses too much heat, then the setting will be too cold. And uh, it's all on the fly. It's kind of, you got to get a feel for it. And uh, there's no way to get a feel, apparently, than, uh, than doing it over and over and over. And, and, uh, and if I'm having a bad day now, when I will, I stop. Because I gotta, everything's got to be flowing. And uh, I can't be distracted. I have to be calm and, uh, and make adjustments before I get too far into it. You can't unweld it. You have to cut it apart. I can't really divulge exactly how I know that. But you could probably guess. But uh, today it all worked out. So uh, I forgot to mention I have my my uh, cleaning station outside because this stuff is deadly and it evaporates very fast. Uh, so I'm also uh, doing the the cleaning with the the wire brush out there because obviously that stuff goes all over the place and it little tiny pieces of non-ferrous so you can't use a magnet to clean it up and I don't want to be tracking into the house and people getting slivers of aluminum in their feet especially the doggies so uh, hope you enjoyed that presentation Mr. Ryan I think you ought to give this a try that is after you get your 2 meter radio installed in your car so we'll catch you later